Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I am gonna show how to make character talking animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and we have two conversations. First, character and second, office background. And right now, let's select this main composition, move to inside office composition, press S, change scale, move to down like this, and let's change scale more, and move to here. Okay, and select this layer, chair, let's press S, change scale, and move to behind this character, like this. So, select this background, and press S, change scale, and move to here, this. Okay, select this character, let's press S, scale more, move to down. Right now, let's go to FX presets, search FX Gaussian Blur, select Gaussian Blur, let's use for background, and change blurness like this. Okay, so go to projects and select this coding background footage, move to inside office conversation and move to behind this chair and turn off sound and let's press S, change scale and right now let's go to FX presets, search FX warp and Let's select this Bezier Warp, used for coding background. So, in this time, select this background and select this Gaussian Blur. Let's copy, select coding, Ctrl V for OPS, and change blurness more. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Okay, so let's open main composition and let's zoom in here. Select these layers, and this is eye black. Let's change eye black or ball, and this eye white. Select this eye white. Let's control D. Select eye ball. Move to inside eye whites, and click toggle switch mode. Select here non to alpha matte eye white too, and right now I can move eye ball inside eye white layers. So, select this eye white too, let's link to eye white. And select eye white, press S, and click this icon, and we can change scale like this for eye blinking. So, let's go to here, make sketch keyframe, and go to 3 keyframes, 1 to 3, change scale 5. Go to 3 keyframes again, 1 to 3, change 100%. And make keyframes easy. Let's copy two frames and go to here, paste for random eye blink animation. And select this eyeball. Let's let's press P, make new passing Q frame, go to two Q frames, move to right, and select Q frames, move to here for animation with blinking. And let's create new Q frame, go to two Q frames, move to like this, and go to here. And create new passing keyframe, go to two keyframes, move to down, and select keyframes, move to center, and let's make random eyeball keyframes. And here, let's move to again like this. Let's see animation. Okay, not bad. So go to here, let's make new passing keyframe, go to two keyframes, move to center. And next few frames, let's create and move like this. So finally, let's go to here, make new passing Q frame, go to Q frames, and save first Q frame, copy pass. So let's preview animation. Okay, that's good. And back to project, let's import here lip sync animation. Let's import or control I. Select this lip sync and let's import. This is footage, MOV, and move to inside our composition. And let's put here, press S, change scale. Let's move to here, change scale more, 12. 
So select this muff layer, delete, and select this head layer, change name head, and let's select this lip sync, link to head layer, and select this lip sync, let's right mouse, and time, time stretch, change 150, click OK. And let's control D for duplicate, move to right, and let's see. Okay, pretty good. So, select this head layer. Also, let's select this eyebrow, link to head layer. Select head layer and go to pen behind icon, move the anchor point down, kill station tool, and go to here, press R, make rotation keyframe, and let's go to 10 keyframes with. Hold Shift, press page down in keyboard, and chain rotation 4 or 6. Okay, let's go to back, select this eyeball and eye white, also link to head layer. Let's see. Nice, and let's select this keyframe, move to left, and go to here, make new rotation keyframe, go 10 keyframes change minus 4 and here again make the two frame go 10 two frame change 5 and here again new rotation two frame and add minus 2 and there are many random two frames and let's change this 0 say two frames make easies and copy two frames go to here control V and let's add bounce let's go to here Hold Shift, press P, make new passing Q frame, go to middle, and move to down, go to next Q frame, select first Q frame, copy pass, and make Q frames easy. Let's see bounce animation. Okay, and copy three passing Q frames, go to here, Control V, and hold Alt, move to right, and here Control V, and let's copy these Q frames. And control V and here control V and here also here. Let's see. Okay, not bad. So right now select this head layer. Let's link to body. Change name body. And select this layer one, link to eleven, select eleven, link to one hundred eleven, select one hundred eleven, link to body. And select layer 2, link to 22, select 22, link to 222, and select 222 layer, link to body. So select body, go to pen behind, and move the anchor point down. Click station tool, and go to here, press R, make rotation two frame, and go 10 two frames, chain 3. And go to here, make new rotation, go 10 two frames, change minus 2. And next two frames, let's add 4. And here, let's add new two frames, 0. And select two frames, copy and control V for paste. And select two frames, make easy. So, let's see. And we can add bones animation for natural movements. Go to here, select this body, hold shift, press P, make new passing Q frame, go to middle, move to down, go to next Q frame, say first Q frame, copy pass, and make Q frames easy. Let's preview. Nice. Select Q frames, copy and control V here, and here paste, and here also. And let's one here. So let's back to office conversation and let's see. Full animation here. Let's select work area. Okay, that's all. Very easy, very fast way for create interview animations. So guys, as you can see here, our vectors is not quality. Let's open main conversation and for better results. Select all these layers, Ctrl A, let's select all these layers, click toggle switch modes and click this icon for quality vectors and back to office conversation and let's also click this icon for quality vectors, nice, very good.
So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.